let's kind of shift and, um, and talk about how failures have played a role in your success. You know, I think for me, and, and I've kind of alluded to this, the biggest failures that I've had were not starting. Mm. We're waiting, letting five, 10, 15, 20 years go by out of fear. And that's just the reality of it. And I think that is the biggest thing people don't do is take action out of that. And yeah. that for me is, you know, I didn't make, so I didn't make a ton of bad decisions because same thing, just being very cautious in nature myself. Mm -hmm. And so that in itself held me back. Had I bought that first house 40 years ago, or well, not 40, but you know, 30 years ago, I could have so much more. Yeah. And it was that inaction that occurred. So what do you do now? Like now that you've got that mindset of, you know what, I am going to take action. But with that, there's probably going to be some missteps along the way. How do you move forward now as opposed to before? So now again, and it's the same thing. I need that first little kick. Usually if I can get the kick to get started, once I do the first one, it just starts the roll. And, and that's what I've learned about myself. That for me, if I can just get started, everything else will fall into place. But that's my limiting problem. So I've got to get started. So mm -hmm. maybe it's partnering with somebody. Maybe it's getting a coach. Maybe it's doing something along those lines to, to find a way through the friction of starting. Mm -hmm.